I'm here right now, and of course, I have to be in the midst, right? That's the, I love this is it. the feeling, the feeling of, of, of the rental, you know, just <laughs> you can't quite make out what's happening or where you are. So that's you the should, feeling right now. You should have been my production designer and DP, man. That looks great. <laughs> Tell me, man. I, I, I'm there. I'll, I'll, I'll make it all together, then I'll make sandwiches and cater everything at, at lunch as well. So uh, <laughs> let's talk with about this story. <laughs> I want to talk about this story. Um, now, um, what was uh, your initial thought? Like, where did this idea for this screenplay come from? It came from uh, my own paranoia about the concept of home sharing, uh, where I just I think about how the country is as divided as it's ever been, and no one trusts each other. Yet we trust staying in the home of a stranger simply because of a few positive reviews online. And you know, it, 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 while we were filming the movie, there were articles coming out every week about these homeowners who had hidden cameras in their place. And so like, even though we're aware of the risks of staying in a stranger's home, we all still do it because we don't think anything bad will actually happen to us. And so like part of this whole thing was trying to explore that mentality where it's like, why do we subject ourselves to this knowing that we're potentially putting ourselves in harm's way? Right. Well, it's funny because when I started watching, I thought about my weird experiences too. I once went to an Airbnb and the owner had done a, uh, a little candle slash um, uh, card reading for me and left it out for me and then written out what it was supposed to mean. And I was like, so she's telling my future and apparently I'm good enough to stay here. But did you have any weird instances yourself with any home sharing? Um, you know, I actually, I haven't had any nightmare experiences, but I did just remember um, a, a pretty bizarre one at a hotel. Uh, this was, so I was working, um, I was, I, I won't even say where it is because I don't want to, whatever. But um, I, I'd been working somewhere for a while and I was staying at this hotel for a few weeks. And it was pretty gross, but I didn't want to be the actor to like, be like, hey guys, can you move me? Uh, so I was just kind of like sucking it up. And then um, one day, you know, they cleaned my room, they put on new sheets and I went to bed that night and I woke up and there was um, a little splotch of dry blood about this big next to my face. And I checked my body and I was not bleeding. And so clearly that was their like clean sheet that they had put on that day. And so that was the final straw. And I was like, guys, you're going to have to move me. I'm sorry. I don't want to be that guy, but like, I can't, I can't wake up to ne next to someone else's dry blood. <laughs> I, I agree. That seems like a housekeeping call for sure. Uh, so, you know, uh, this cast is awesome. And I know your first, uh, your first short before you got to directorial was with Allison too, correct? Uh, I think I think IMDb showed it back in 2013. Is that correct, or what was that? That was one of my first shorts. So yeah, that was okay. one of the few that I made for uh, the website funnierdie.com. Okay, and and compared then to now, of course, now she's made written her own movies and stuff like that. Now is she easier to to direct now, or is she, she <laughs> a little more harder to direct now? No, she's always been extremely easy. Uh, <laughs> she she's so talented and. Um, you know, she, she has this unique ability to really balance heavy drama with moments of levity uh, where she can really kind of navigate seamlessly back and forth between conflicting emotions and not many actors can do that. And obviously that was important for our film because for the most part, the movie's pretty tense and kind of, you know, heavy and dramatic, but there is like a long sequence um, during one of the more tense, you know, parts of the film where Allison is she does bring some humor and some lightness and it's kind of like a relief during this time where we've kind of like as an audience member been kind of pent up for a while right now as being as someone who's been in the eye so much do you feel like you have a second a kind of enhanced or spidey sense when a camera is on you do you feel like you would know now like you would that's interesting you say that so um you know again going back to my general paranoia uh, I, I am kind of terrified of the paparazzi and I'm not someone that obviously that they're following all the time, but I swear to God, I do have a sense. I'm just always kind of on the lookout and like you feel, you know, you know, if, if I'm in a restaurant and someone is kind of taking pictures or filming, it is like a, it is a sixth sense now. And like you, you always know, and like, as, as, as like kind of, you know, secretive as people think they're being, I know every single time. <laughs> 
All right. Well, congratulations on this. It's such a fun movie. Looking forward to getting a chance to make sure everyone else gets to check it out. Uh, maybe hopefully you'll get a chance to check it out at a drive-in yourself. That'd probably be a kick, right? To go see the drive-in with your own film. Um, and then beyond that, I, last question is, you know, um, any any script updates on maybe uh, Now You See Me 3? Any rumblings? There's a lot uh, of downtime, time to write. You can do that at home. So I've, I've heard the same rumblings as you. Um, and, uh, you know, as much as I would like to contribute to the writing process for those movies, I don't think they want me for that. They got their own people. Um, but I am working on a couple of my own projects right now. One that I, uh, right. that I wrote with Allison that would be for me to direct and for her to star. Well, hopefully we'll see you both at a film festival very, very soon. That's where that's a good place to catch both of you with your projects. So have a great day. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, man. Peace out. Thank